Josh from Posh, and we're at the Sub-Zero Wolf Showroom in North Scottsdale, and today we're going to show you how to cook red curry butternut squash or wild squash soup. So today we've got some beautiful squash from the farmer's markets. These aren't butternut squash as much as they're a hybrid called red curry squash. So what naturally would go great with red curry squash soup, then a little bit of red curry as well. So we're going to start out like you'd start out just about any other soup. We're going to go with a little bit of butter, melt, and add a touch of red onion. That red onion, it's about one whole red onion. We're going to stir, allow that to get nice sweat, let all the liquid release from the onions. And then we're going to deglaze with a little bit of sake. Once we've deglazed with our sake, we're going to turn the heat up a little bit, kind of let that reduce to form a nice syrup. And then we're going to take this squash, which is cooked. We're going to get rid of our seeds here, scrape them out. If you want to save these and toast them up later, you absolutely can. They work just like pumpkin seeds. And then you're going to scoop out this inner flesh. All that nice roast. You can smell how sweet this is. And this is the perfect time of year for these. You can make this like you'd make any butternut squash soup, but we're going to make this with a little twist. So we're going to let that melt into our soup, give it a good stir, then we're going to add a touch of red curry. I'm going to go with about two tablespoons of red curry paste. And again, we're going to bring that up to a simmer, allow the flavors to mingle, then we're going to add a little chicken stock. We're going to bring that up to simmer and let it simmer for about 20 minutes or so. Once the 20 minutes have gone by, we're going to check the seasoning, add a little bit of salt, and this is going to go right out off the pan and into a blender. Now we're going to thicken this, instead of using heavy cream, we're actually going to thicken it with a little bit of coconut milk. So we're going to add our soup base here into our blender, and we have the fanciest blender in the world here. This is a Vitamix, if you've got the extra 800 bucks, you can make an amazing blender. Cover the top real good and turn that on high. Now we're going to add the coconut milk at the end because coconut milk can actually break a little bit. The fat sometimes will simmer out and cause it to separate and it will look just like broken butter. So we're going to give that one more little stir and once all of our ingredients have been pureed and blended, we're going to bring it back to the heat real quickly up to a simmer. Again, we don't want to break the coconut milk out of there. Check our seasoning one more time with a little salt, maybe a touch of pepper. Then we're just going to go ahead and get ourselves a nice hot bowl. Pour our soup right into the bowl there. Maybe we can top because red curry and coconut milk go nice with a little fresh mint. Maybe a little cilantro as well. We'll just tear some cilantro leaves and stems. And then we're going to sit down with our loved ones, invite some friends over, and have a nice hot piping bowl of red curry coconut squash soup. Cheers and enjoy. Thank you.